All right, how to fray a hogfish. You start up at the head, cut a nice little gash, so that way you can get in and start a line and run flat along the spine. And this is for bigger hogfish too. This one's about 23 inches. So a smaller fish, you can do the same as other snapper. But this is so you don't waste any of the precious white meat, which we worked so hard to get. So now you just cut a nice little slit along the spine following the, the vertebrae parallel. Just keep going all the way down. You get down around the tail section, you might have to come back to that, or you can go through it with it. And now you fold it up and you just told it, slowly start flaying it back, back. <coughs> and pulling up as you go and just separating the little pieces. And always watch your fingers. Same way you shot him, you have some bone in him. Yeah, they were, this one was speared, uh, so that's why it's a little bit more difficult when you get to the hole. you got to kind of take your time and make sure you're following the vertebrae again, not going through the other side. Normally we can go really fast, but we're showing you, and plus we don't want to waste any meat. Most delicious fish you'll ever eat. Too, you can go around the stomach bone so you can get a little bit extra meat or for new people you can just cut it off. So you just keep going down, folding, folding as you go. You can use a serrated or a regular flat blade smooth edge, whatever your preference is. Straight it does make it much easier. Now you can just cut it off at the base of the fish while definitely watching your fish. And that's it. That's how you fillet hogfish.